10 foods you should never eat that will damage your health. In the journey towards optimal health and nutrition, the focus often shifts between what should and shouldn't find its way onto our plates. The art of eating well not only involves choosing the right foods that nourish and energize the body, but also steering clear of those that detract from our health. While the principle of moderation serves as a guiding star in dietary habits, it's equally important to recognize that certain foods, because of their specific components and the reactions they trigger in the body, are best avoided. In today's video, we will delve deeper into 10 such foods that we daily consume without knowing that they may harm our body. One thing to keep in mind is that before making significant alterations to your diet, you should always consult a registered dietitian. Also, stick to the end of the video where we will highlight the substitutes for these foods that you should eat for a healthy body. Alright, let's begin. 1. Processed Meats Processed meats such as sausages, bacon and deli meats may negatively impact health due to their high levels of sodium, nitrates and nitrites. Starting with sodium, processed meats are notoriously high in this element, often containing upwards of 400 to 500 milligrams per serving. High sodium intake is a well-known risk factor for hypertension, high blood pressure, which strains the heart and blood vessels, leading to an increased risk of heart disease and stroke. The body retains extra water to flush the sodium from the system, further increasing blood pressure. Nitrates and nitrites, used to cure meats and maintain their red color, undergo a transformation within the body. In the acidic environment of the stomach, nitrates and nitrites may be converted into nitrosamines, compounds known for their carcinogenic properties. Nitrosamines may cause damage to the cells lining the digestive tract, leading to mutations and an increased risk of cancer, particularly colorectal cancer. The World Health Organization has classified processed meats as Group 1 carcinogens directly linking them to an increased risk of colorectal cancer. A significant 49% increased risk of colorectal cancer was found for a daily increase of 25 grams of processed meat. 2. Trans fats, partially hydrogenated oils. Trans fats, particularly those found in partially hydrogenated oils, are created through an industrial process that adds hydrogen to liquid vegetable oils to make them more solid and extend their shelf life, which the human body is not well equipped to process. The American Heart Association recommends limiting the intake of trans fats to less than 1% of total daily calories. Trans fats have a profound impact on blood lipid levels. They increase low-density lipoprotein, LDL cholesterol, often referred to as bad cholesterol, while decreasing high-density lipoprotein, HDL cholesterol, known as good cholesterol. This dual effect exacerbates the risk of developing atherosclerosis, a condition characterized by the buildup of fatty deposits in the arteries. Atherosclerosis narrows and hardens the arteries, impeding blood flow and increasing the risk of heart attack and stroke. In a study with 86 heart failure patients, scientists looked at how dietary trans fats in blood cells relate to inflammation in the body. They found that people with higher trans fat levels also had higher levels of inflammation markers indicating that eating more trans fats is linked to increased inflammation in those with heart failure. Do you find this information helpful? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell icon for more health secrets and tips. 3. Sugary drinks Sugary drinks encompassing sodas and sweetened teas 
typically contain 30 grams of sugar per 12-ounce serving. In contrast, the World Health Organization recommends for an average adult to consume about 50 grams of sugar per day based on a 2,000-calorie diet. The rapid influx of sugar prompts the pancreas to release insulin, a hormone responsible for facilitating the uptake of glucose into cells for energy. Over time, repeated spikes in blood sugar and insulin may lead to insulin resistance, a condition where cells begin to respond less effectively to insulin, setting the stage for type 2 diabetes. Research shows that drinking sugar-sweetened beverages increases the risk of developing type 2 diabetes by 30% overall. Apart from that, sugar serves as a primary food source for bacteria in the mouth, which produce acid as a waste product. This acid may erode tooth enamel, leading to cavities and dental decay. Additionally, high sugar intake from these drinks may increase uric acid levels, which may lead to gout, a painful form of arthritis. It may also contribute to the development of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, a condition where excess fat is stored in the liver and is not due to alcohol use. 4. White bread The process of refining flour strips away the bran and germ of the wheat grain, leaving behind the endosperm. This process significantly reduces the fiber, vitamins and minerals naturally present in the grain. A typical slice of white bread contains about 1 gram of fiber or less, a stark contrast to whole grain alternatives which may contain two to three times that amount or more. The simple carbohydrates in white bread may alter the gut microbiome. A diet high in refined grains and sugars may decrease the diversity of gut bacteria, which play a crucial role in digestion, immune function and overall health. This disruption may contribute to inflammation and has been linked to an increased risk of inflammatory bowel disease, obesity and metabolic syndrome. In a study of 1,130 participants with 28% experiencing gastroesophageal reflux disease, lifestyle factors like quick eating, extra salt use, insufficient sleep and particularly the consumption of white bread were linked to an increased risk of this disease. 5. High Mercury Fish High mercury fish, such as sharks, swordfish, king mackerel and some types of tuna, pose health risks due to their elevated levels of methylmercury, a toxic form of mercury that accumulates in fish in polluted waters. For example, swordfish may contain mercury levels ranging from 1 to 3 parts per million, significantly higher than the levels found in lower mercury fish. In adults, chronic exposure to methylmercury may lead to neurological impairments, including tremors, impaired vision and hearing, and muscle weakness. The neurotoxic effects of methylmercury stem from its ability to disrupt neurotransmitter pathways, damage nerve cells, and interfere with the brain's normal signaling processes. The impact of methylmercury is most detrimental to developing fetuses and young children, whose nervous systems are still forming. Exposure in utero Through maternal consumption of high mercury fish may lead to developmental delays, cognitive deficits and decreased motor function in infants and children. The precise mechanisms involve methylmercury's interference with brain development processes such as neuron formation and migration, which may have lasting effects on cognitive and motor abilities. The World Health Organization and the US Environmental Protection Agency recommend keeping mercury exposure as low as possible, suggesting a maximum intake of methylmercury at 0.1 micrograms per kilogram of body weight per day. 6. 
Deep Fried Foods The allure of deep fried foods lies in their crispy texture and rich flavor, yet the very process that imparts these desirable qualities also makes them harmful over time. Typically, these foods are cooked in oils that contain a high proportion of saturated and trans fats. When oils are heated to the high temperatures required for deep frying, usually between 350 degrees Fahrenheit and 375 degrees Fahrenheit, they may undergo a transformation, breaking down and releasing free radicals. These free radicals are unstable molecules that may cause oxidative stress within the body, leading to cell damage and inflammation. Moreover, repeated use of the same oil for frying exacerbates the formation of trans fats, a byproduct of oil degradation, significantly raising the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Another critical aspect of the damage caused by deep fried foods is the presence of acrylamide, a potentially carcinogenic compound formed when foods rich in carbohydrates are cooked at high temperatures. One four-year study with about 16,500 participants concluded that eating two servings of fried fish per week is associated with a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. 7. Alcohol Alcohol, when consumed in excess, may cause widespread damage to the body. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention define heavy drinking as consuming 15 or more drinks per week for men and 8 or more drinks per week for women. Even moderate drinking, defined as up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks per day for men, may lead to health issues over time. The liver may metabolize only a certain amount of alcohol per hour, regardless of the amount consumed. Exceeding this limit causes alcohol to accumulate in the blood and body tissues, leading to intoxication. One of the primary toxic byproducts of alcohol metabolism is acetaldehyde, a highly reactive compound. It contributes to liver damage and inflammation, leading to alcoholic liver disease, which may progress from fatty liver to alcoholic hepatitis and eventually to cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is characterized by scar tissue, replacing healthy liver cells, impairing the liver's ability to function and leading to liver failure. Moreover, alcohol's metabolism in the liver produces reactive oxygen species, leading to oxidative stress. This stress damages liver cells directly and may trigger inflammation, further exacerbating liver damage. A study of liver biopsies from 1,574, hepatitis patients showed that patients consuming over 50 grams of alcohol per day had a 34% increase in the rate of fibrosis progression per year compared with non-drinkers. 8. Energy drinks Energy drinks, popular for their promise of increased alertness and enhanced physical performance, may pose significant health risks. You may be shocked to know, but it's not uncommon for a single 16-ounce energy drink to contain around 200 to 300 milligrams of caffeine and upwards of 50 grams of sugar. We all know that caffeine is a central nervous system stimulant. In moderate amounts, it may increase alertness. However, the high doses found in many energy drinks may lead to increased heart rate, tachycardia, high blood pressure, hypertension, heart palpitations, anxiety, sleep disturbances, and digestive issues. Chronic consumption of high caffeine energy drinks may lead to caffeine dependence and withdrawal symptoms such as headaches, fatigue, and irritability when caffeine use is reduced. Several reports have suggested that energy drinks may contribute to ischemic strokes and lead to epileptic seizures, 
hallucinations might be observed in individuals who consume more than 300 milligrams of caffeine per day. High levels of cortisol that follow caffeine intake could explain this. 9. Artificially colored foods Artificially colored foods, adorned with synthetic dyes to enhance their appearance and appeal, have been a topic of concern regarding their impact on health. These artificial colors derived from petroleum and other chemical sources are found in a wide array of products, from candies and soft drinks to cereals and snack foods. Consumption of artificially colored foods may increase hyperactivity and attention difficulties in susceptible children. It is hypothesized that artificial colors may affect neurotransmitter systems involved in attention and executive function. But evidence is mixed and more research is needed to clarify these effects. Beyond behavioral issues, there are concerns about the potential carcinogenicity of certain artificial colors. For instance, RED3 has been identified as a possible carcinogen by the US. Food and Drug Administration, leading to its partial ban in cosmetics, though it remains approved for use in food. However, given that these dyes offer no nutritional value and pose potential health hazards, the recommendation is to not consume any food dyed with them. 10. Microwave Popcorn Microwave popcorn, a popular and convenient snack, has raised health concerns due to certain chemicals used in its packaging and ingredients. Perfluorinated compounds have been used in microwave popcorn bags to prevent oil from soaking through the paper. When heated, it may migrate into the popcorn oil and be ingested. In the body, it acts as an endocrine disruptor, interfering with hormone function and regulation. In addition to that, diacetyl, a chemical used to impart a buttery flavor to microwave popcorn, has been linked to a condition known as popcorn lung or bronchiolitis obliterans, a severe and irreversible lung disease. A 2017 study of Faroese children found that exposure to perfluorinated compounds had associations with increased rates of asthma in those who had not received the measles, mumps and rubella MMR vaccine. The same effect did not apply to children who had received the MMR vaccine. Now, let's check out some foods that protect your health. We understand that many of you are highly obsessed with the foods mentioned earlier. However, we have compiled a list of all the substitute foods that let you enjoy the same flavor without harming your health. 1. Instead of processed meats, opt for lean proteins like chicken, turkey or fish. Aim for two to three servings. 3 to 4 ounces per serving of lean protein daily. 2. Instead of trans fats, use natural fats found in avocados, nuts and olive oil. A moderate intake, such as a handful of nuts or a tablespoon of olive oil, is recommended per day. 3. Instead of sugary drinks, Drink water, herbal teas, or infused water with fruits. Aim for 8 to 10 glasses of water per day. 4. Instead of white bread, choose whole grain or whole wheat bread. These are high in fiber, which aids in digestion and promotes satiation and aim for at least 3 servings of whole grains a day. 5. Instead of high mercury and mercury fish, select low mercury fish like salmon, sardines and trout, which are rich in omega-3 fatty acids and beneficial for heart health. Two servings of fish per week are recommended. 6. 
instead of deep fried foods. Enjoy baked, grilled or steamed foods. These cooking methods reduce fat content while preserving nutrients. 7. Moderate consumption of alcohol If you choose to drink, do so in moderation. Moderation means up to one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. 8. Instead of energy drinks Try green tea or black coffee for a caffeine boost. Limit caffeine intake to one to two cups per day to avoid excessive caffeine intake. 9. Instead of artificially colored foods, eat naturally colored fruits and vegetables. Aim for at least five servings of fruits and vegetables per day. 10 instead of microwave popcorn. Make air-popped popcorn without added fats and salts. A serving of three cups of popped popcorn a few times a week is a healthy snack option. While it's important to enjoy a varied diet, being mindful of the 10 foods mentioned earlier that may harm your health is crucial for maintaining long-term wellness. Opting for whole, Minimally processed foods and paying attention to ingredient labels may help you make healthier choices that benefit your body and mind. Today, we learned about all the foods that you may need to avoid for good health. But did you know that there are other useful foods in your pantry that may be just as helpful? Want to find out more? Watch 9 Foods to Save Your Pancreas From Damage or watch 10 must-have nutrient-rich foods for people over 50. Watch one or even better, watch both. What other foods that you think is not good for you? Let us know in the comments below.